right, Dr. Bradshaw here, functional medicine patients. We're gonna be stretching out the lower back today. We're gonna to do what's called cat-cow, okay? Very easy to do, no equipment necessary. Let me show you how it's done. You're gonna get on all fours like this, okay? And what we wanna do is we wanna engage the low back by doing flexion motion. That's gonna be called cat. So cat is where we're going to breathe out and we're going to arch the low back up by tucking the abdominals in. So we're going to breathe out, arching the back like a cat, okay? Then we're going to do just the opposite. We're going to allow the tummy to hang down like a cow as we breathe in. As that happens, you're going to extend the neck a little bit. Whether I'm doing cat or cow, my arms are the same, my hips are the same. I'm just doing this. When I say hips, I mean this part right here, the upper leg. Your hips are tilting a little bit. They're doing this and they're doing this a little bit. But as you can see, my upper legs aren't moving at all no matter what I'm doing. Tucking your chin at the end of cat as well is important. Extending the chin up, you breathe in. Every time you go into cow and cat, that's one repetition. You need to do 10 repetitions to get one set. We need to do three sets to get one cycle. Okay? And then we need to do three cycles, morning, midday, and evening, to really get this working. So, cat-cow is part of your abdominal, uh, sorry, your low back stretching routine. So make it part of whatever else I've given you, and this will really help get you loosened up, particularly getting those discs loosened up in the low back. All right, enjoy.